In this video tutorial, I'm going to point out everything you need to know, all of the settings you need to adjust before you start trading features with Binance. Okay, and everything we're going to do in this video is with the Binance app. So even if you are trading features on the go, then this is for you. And this is basically for beginners. And even if you are an expert, I bet you there are a lot of things you don't know about the Binance features. There are a lot of features on the Binance features trading that you don't know how to use okay and the benefit of using them so if you see this video to the end you should be able to understand all of these and then take advantage of them to start trading effectively on the binance um, exchange now once we log into our binance account okay i've made a video about how to use the binance gainers list to be able to sort out coins you can trade every day and make some profit for yourself make sure you check out that video okay i will leave the link at the top right or in the video description so check out that video and see how best you can use that to actually start making money for yourself daily okay so now we go to the features trading interface once i click on features now this is where we are okay so first you want to make sure if you have usdt you want to make sure that you're on the first tab here which is the usd m features okay then if you are going to be trading uh, let's say you have bitcoin ethereum any other coin then you can use the coin m features all right so the next thing you want to do is select the coin you want to trade and then after selecting the coin you want to trade you have the margin mode to trade with okay here we have the isolated then we have the leverage okay and this other one here i bet you don't know what it is but i will explain that in a moment okay <laughs> so and on the isolated mode okay if you are just starting up all right if you have a little account on your account even if you have ten thousand dollars and you, have, you want to risk specific money without risking the whole balance you have on your trading account then always use isolated mode okay then when you use cross mode if i have one thousand dollars in my futures trading account it means that i'm trading with the whole one thousand dollars okay and this will be affected when you get liquidated all right so this helps to put your uh, you know push your liquidation um, price further but if you get liquidated it means you are risking the whole money on your account but isolated will only be that money that little money you are using to trade at that particular time okay so always make sure that you use the isolated mode and after selecting the margin mode the next, the next thing is to select the leverage okay the leverage you want to trade with you can click here okay and select from you know 1s leverage to 25s leverage whatever okay this differs based on the coin you are trading some coin will be just 20x some will be 25x some will be 120 and the rest so it all depends on the coin you are going to be trading on the binance exchange so you select the leverage you want after selecting the leverage you want this other option here okay this x it stands for single asset mode okay recently binance updated this so they have the single asset mode and then they have the multi-asset mode so i will explain what this is when we go to the settings okay we'll go to the settings but definitely you can actually click on the x here which is a single asset if i click on it it brings you directly to this page so you have the option to select the single asset mode or the multi-asset mode now the difference between these two is that if i'm trading with the single asset mode and i have usdt in my account i can only trade pairs that are you know with usdt let's say btc usdt ethereum usdt srp usdt all of those usdt pair okay but if i select the multi-asset mode the multi-asset mode allows me to trade you know even with usdt on my account i can trade any pair with busd or usdt so i can open a position for U btc usdt i can open another position for ethereum busd i can open another position just vice versa you have usdt in your account but you can trade any pair with busd and any pair with usdt that is if you are using the multi-asset mode okay remember that on binance the two stable most important stable coins on binance is busd and usdt okay so if you have usdt in your account by default you are only supposed to trade usdt pairs but when you select the multi-asset mode okay you will now be trading busd pairs and then usdt pairs but the problem here is that if you switch from single asset mode and to the multi-asset mode your account will automatically be on cross margin you will not be able to switch between cross and isolated so for the multi-asset mode you only be trading on cross margin but for the single asset mode you only trade 
USDT pairs with you know um, isolated or cross margin it all depends on what you want okay so um cross margin is good if you are a good risk manager okay so you can go with the multi-asset um as multi-asset mode so that if you have busd you can use your busd to trade usdt pairs then if you have usdt you can use your usdt to trade busd pairs okay so that is what that option does for you so if it is single asset mode you will see s here if it is multi-asset mode you will see m here all right so the next thing here is you have this chart option here okay this takes you to the chart for the particular pair you are trading so if i click on it since we selected btc usdt you see the chart for that particular pair that you are trading okay then the next one here that we have this plus and the equal okay gives you access to the futures trading calculator so if you want to make calculations of what it will cost you what it will profit you to open a particular position okay or where your liquidation price will be you can do that here if you want to open a long position you can calculate select all the leverage everything put the entry price the exit price the quantity you want to trade and once you click on calculate okay it gives you how much it will cost you what you are expected to make and have the percentage that will make you that amount of money okay so this is the calculator i have a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the features trading calculator make sure you check out the video okay in the video description or the video popping up at the top there okay so just check out that and that will be able to explain everything about trading okay using the binance features calculator then the three dots that you see here are where you can use to you know do additional settings on your binance features okay so if we go ahead and click on those three dots so once i click on the three dots you see all of these different options here but our concern here for features trading is just the preference okay so we want to adjust the preference for features trading so if i click on preference it brings us to this um to this page okay so first you have the trade mode you can use advanced mode or use the normal mode so if i click on the trade mode which is the first one you have okay the light mode this is how it will display on your account and then the advanced mode is what you just saw right now okay so if i go ahead and switch to the light mode all right and then go back this is what you see all right this is just what you see you just buy open long or open short and that and that's all okay so this is what the advanced mode looks like the light mode looks like so we'll just go ahead and switch to the advanced mode okay and that will equally bring us to this interface that you see here with other books and the rest okay so if i go back again to the preference the next one you see there is the other confirmation okay other confirmation if i click on it i have all of this check all right so when you want to open a limit order it will ask you to confirm when you want to open market order any of this order instead of just placing the order at once you have to confirm so it means that you can you know go through the summary of the orders you have and then click on confirm before the order will be placed so if you turn all of this off then whenever you are opening that order it will just be placed immediately whether you make mistake or not it will just be placed immediately okay so that is for the next one and then the next option we have here is the position mode settings okay position mode setting this is one of my favorite okay so you can use um the one-way mode here we have one-way mode and then we have the edge mode now one-way mode allows you to open a position in one direction let's say i want to trade btc if i'm trading btc and i'm using the one-way mode i can only open either a long position or a short position but for the edge mode okay i can open both long position and short position at the same time all right the reason for this is let's say you've predicted that the market is going up and maybe it's all of a sudden something happens in the market and the market start going against you so what you can do in order to secure profit for yourself is to open a position okay in an, in the other direction so that way why the other one is showing minus this other one can be showing plus and be making money for you and the strategy of using this is let's say i open a position for one btc going up and then all of a sudden the market reverse against me i can open a position a short position for two btc so why this other one is showing minus this other one can be showing plus when this other one got to a certain level okay this is a trading strategy you, you need to learn specialists but you know it's not in this video you need to learn this but basic, ma majorly what i want you to understand is one way mode allow you to open a position in one direction 
while the edge may would allow you to open both a short position and a long position at the same time okay that is what this setting does for you and then the next setting we'll have here is the price protection okay option here you can read okay you can turn this on off or, or off you can turn this on or off okay and then read whatever they have said yet i personally have not seen the effect of this yet but maybe if you understand it you can leave a comment section and explain this for me but i have it turned on so i don't do i don't understand much about it yet but you can let me know what it is okay in the comment section so if you understand what this price protection means just let me know okay and then the next option is um the notification okay for the notification this is what i have okay turned on which is the funding fee trigger if you want to get notifications whenever your funding fee are triggered you can go ahead and do that and then for stop loss trigger if you want to you can turn it on or off it all depends on what you want okay then the next one here which i've explained already is the asset mode okay this is where we have the single asset mode and the multi-asset mode okay just to go over it again for single asset mode if you have usdt you can only trade usdt pair if you have busd you can only trade busd pair but for multi-asset mode you can trade both busd in usdt pair with whatever funds you have but the problem here is that if you switch to the multi-asset mode your margin mode will automatically be switched to cross mode you cannot have an asset as you know you don't have the chance to switch back to you know isolated or cross you only be on cross mode but if you're a good risk manager okay you should be able to trade on cross mode without having issue so the next option we have here is the contract okay where it says select contract unit by default it is coin here okay now let me explain where this is so if i click on it you have um to select either coin or usdt where you will see this is if i go back okay let's say i want to open a position here okay if i want to open a position for btc now it tells me to type in the amount of btc in btc but if i go back to that setting and switch to usdt so go to preference again and then go to the select contract and select usdt okay once i switch it to usdt i will come back here you see that instead of btc it is now usdt okay that is where you get that option so you can just decide to do btc or do usdt so i'll change it back to the coin i prefer to use okay the particular coin that i'm trading not usdt all right so that is that option for you and then for the place order layout okay mine is on the right so you can um i have mine on the left okay for the place order i have mine on the left so you can place yours on the right it all depends on what you want so you can switch this any way you want where that is let me quickly show you where it is is this one you have here okay this option so if you place it on the right it will now switch to this other place and then this will be switched to the left and so on that is where you have the place order option then go back again then the next settings we have here is um um the one we have position tab layout okay this is the next option we have so position tab layout now for the position tab layout you have open orders and then the position you can just switch this the way you want if you want the open orders to be you know the second to the position orders you can do that if you want the position order to be the second to the um open orders you can do that so you can just drag okay just drag and drop this anyhow you want okay just click hold and drag it and drop the way you want it okay so whatever you want there it is you know your business so just drag and drop and then then we have the k line okay in trading page the k line in trading pages k line is the um you can set where you want this if it is at the top at the bottom okay or if you don't want it at all you can go k line is the chart of that particular asset you want to trade if you want it on the interface you are trading okay if you want it at the top fine mine is at the bottom let me show you where it is okay and i think this is the last option we have here okay the k line yes then if you want to be taking trades on the k line you can then go ahead and check this on where it says tap to fill in price so you can you know just go ahead and check that on so if i come back here mine is on the bottom the k line is on the bottom and that is what you see here do it is collapse okay if i want to open it up i just click on the arrow this is what the k line 
So once you click on it, it opens up here. Okay, so you can equally click on this to close this. Then if you want it at the top, it will always be showing up at the top. So I have mine on the bottom, but I don't normally want this. So that's why I leave it collapsed so that if I want to open up the chart, I can just come up here. Okay, and then open the chart in a new page and see what is happening. All right. So if you have your K line here, for instance, if we have that tab to field on, let me just go on and check that on so that we'll see what it is. So if I have this checked on, let me go ahead and check it on. All right. So it says tab to fill in price. So we'll go back again. And then this is a key line. So if I type a tab here. Okay. I can't see what that is. Okay. When you say tab to fill in price, um, I cannot see exactly what it is, but basically you should understand that. Okay. I don't, I just have that check off. So you must not know everything. <laughs> So I have this check off, all right? So with everything I've explained there, you should be able to understand everything you're seeing on the futures trading interface there. So just collapse this, all right? This is what we have. And then whenever you open positions, okay? As you can see, my position is the second one where it says the placement, okay? And then my open order is the first one. That is the, the layer to see here. Now, if I go back and change that, let me go back to preference again. Then I'll go to where it says um, position tab layout okay i want to bring my position to the first and then bring my order to the second so i will just click on the position and drag it to the first all right so with this now you see that my position look at it okay position is now the first one and then open order is now the second one okay so you can actually you know tweak this so whenever i open a position once it is a pending position a limit position it will be on the open position okay once it is you know the position is triggered you see it on the position itself all right so if you want to check the history of your trades just click on this icon okay once you click on this icon it takes you to the history of all of the trades you have if you have open trades open orders will be here okay other history will be here trade history okay and then you see all of this if you scroll to the left you see all of this option okay so you have this option, you can click on each of the option to see all of the history of the trades you've been taking and the rest. All right. So that is how you use that option. And I think basically that is everything you need to know. All right. This is your order books. Okay. And then beneath the order book, you have this option. I believe you don't know what it is. Now, this is what is displayed here. Whether you want it in decimal points or not, this, that is exactly what is displayed here. Okay. So if I click on it, and then just click on one or so you see the price okay with that the the decimal price or decimal points or so if i click on 100 you'll see you just display all of this price okay but if you want to see it point something something or there about you go ahead and do the 0 0.1 and you'll see the price displaying here with the points in front of it okay so that is basically everything okay one thing i have not mentioned is this option here this is your funding rate or funding fee countdown okay so for futures trading for those of you who trade perpetual contract as you can see here this is btc usdt perpetual if you trade perpetual con contract okay there is no expiring date to when your contract will automatically be closed but you pay funding fee to maintain that position you are opening and this one fees are calculated every eight hours so what you are seeing here it means that in the next one hour or thereabout okay funding fee will be paid either to long position holders or to short position holders okay whatever this is calculated okay however this is calculated whenever it is fulfilled okay whenever it's time to fill this long position will either get paid by short position holders or short position get paid by long position holders depending if it is negative or positive so it all depends on you know the position you are holding at that point in time funding fees are not paid to the exchange it is paid to traders so if you are holding a short position okay and you qualify to get funding fee you will be paid if you are holding a long position and you are to pay funding fee the funding fee will be deducted from your account. So whenever you are taking a trade, okay, what thing you want to take into consideration is the funding rate, the countdown. Because if you take a trade within that eight hours that the funding is going to be completed. For instance, if I take nine, it means that if I still have open position in the next one hour, I can either be charged funding fee or I like get paid funding fee. Okay, so those who understand how funding fee works, they actually use this to make money 
for themselves because if the percentage for instance for btc is just 0 0.01 some will give you 0 0.04 0 0.4 0 0.5 and the rest depending on the position you are opening okay falling fee can be a whole lot you know given to you but at the end of the day is either you are paying to others or others are paying to you so when it is deducted take note of that all right and add it up to your profit so that you don't get um you don't end up closing the position and you see you you know that it was in profit but at the end of the day you're seeing minus this all right it is because of the fee you pay and the phone fee that could result to that that is everything i need to explain to you in about binance features trading after this you should be able to you know be fluent with binance set up your account the way you want and start trading but if there is anything you don't understand you can always use the comment section okay you can always use the comment section and um, I have links, okay, if you want to do copy trading, if you want to start earning passive income, you can use the links, okay, I have for BitGet, I have for FedEx, you can copy my trades personally on FedEx, I have all of those links in the video description, check out the link, and if you want to learn more, join my Telegram group using the link in the video description, that is all I have for you in this video, if there is anything, use the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video, so if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified, each time videos like this are published and if you have gained value from this video please give it a thumbs up